Yes, Leeds. One game to love. Love all. So one love lead for the number five seed. Yeah, he looked very, very good. There's got to be a response of increase in tempo, some busyness from the Colombian Cannonball. I'm sure we'll get that. It's looking as sprightly as ever. PJ. Yes, Joey. What have these two got in common? And it's nothing geographical. got in common South American title no no none of nothing Not to do with the games nothing to do with anything to do with that just something that you can see at the moment he's got the lucky bounce Good trickery, it's good work. Yeah, it's a lovely shot. Two love. It's a good touch across the front. Anything to do with the wristbands? Mm, no, because one's black, one's white. Wristband wise. I'll give you three goes over this first period of the first game, second game. So you've had one already. It's just enough. You see the contrast in styles between these two, how entertaining it must have been, all these matches that they played outside of the PSA as well, and all those competitions in South America. Go on, have another guess. Oh, I have no clue. You're going to have to educate me on this Hello. one. It's a good start from Rodriguez, just the start he would have wanted. Yeah, it's the response much needed after that first game. It was only 11 minutes in duration. Rodriguez renowned with his physical fitness and background to play longer, more physically testing games. Right shot to play. Go on, have one more guess. I'll give you one more. Have a good look. Have a good look. Put your glasses. What are their sponsors? No. That's all. Shoes. They both shave their legs twice a week. It's <laughs> amazing. Oh, that's tidy. Just a little bit too comfortable with the height there. It's got to go a touch higher. I love the way he just he plays it in with just very little pace so that if it doesn't find the nick, it still stays short. A lot of players get quite excited with the cross-court nick attempt and give it a wallop, and if they don't get it right, it can be very dangerous and open up the court. obviously one of those matchups just seeing them playing like this where they complement each other you yep. get that you get certain players that clash and it becomes a little bit uh, a bit ugly and a bit can a bit full of congestion whereas these two it's back and forth and Three, there's no traffic issues the, the movement is very straightforward very tidy Got some quads on him, isn't he? As well, the Peruvian Puma. Three, four. <laughs> right. <laughs> Apologise to viewers, PJ. <laughs> Sometimes does that. <laughs> Just fell off my chair and whacked my chin. It's tight. Good tight and counter drop from Rodriguez. Five, three. Yeah, keeping it nice and simple, getting on it early, reading the ball. He wants to try and make this as physical as possible to get into the lungs. 
Velias. Oh, that's a perfect, perfect cross court lob. Look at that line. Yes. It's deceiving, really, from mm. Elias. He hits a very heavy ball. Yeah, it's a very, very good point. Out. You can hear it, can't All you? The nine. sound is slightly different. Yeah, it's just a working of the, the wrist and the fingers at impact. It just gets that racket head travelling through with a bit of pace. Random error. It's done well to draw level. There was an early, I think, a four love lead, if my memory serves me correctly, PJ. Yeah, it certainly was. Oh. He's got to be careful on the cross courts, Rodriguez. He's got such a wingspan on him Diego Elias he's just picking him off it's not accurate enough when he's going no. side to side Six, five. no it's very comfortable for the Puma just moving one step off the tee I can't remember what you said your prediction that's that's my memory is going I thought Elias but it was gonna go the distance And it's just not wide enough. I think he needs to exaggerate the follow through a little bit more. Rodriguez, if he's going to get that ball wide, has got to get it onto the side wall at least. It's too much through the middle of the service box. Nice use of height and defence from the Peruvian. It's hitting a much better length this evening. Down on the ball a little bit more. It's dying at the back of the court, creating more openings. That's, That's a lovely th width. It's the exaggerated width again, Joe, you're right. Six all. That's how wide it's got to be. You could see him extend that follow through away from the body a little bit more. So technically, just for the, for the viewers, when the ball's falling short or it's not going wide enough, would you say the, the adjustment that needs to be made is? Extension of follow through, wider towards the side wall. Almost imagine you're releasing and throwing your racket at the opposite side wall. That should be the sensation. <laughs> don't Obviously don't, don't let go. Don't, don't, don't be an advocate. Of, there's going to be a lot of South Americans that are going to end up <laughs> taking their <laughs> partners out. Get a lot of teeth flying. They're going to blame you for it. <laughs> oh, oh, that's quality. That was beautiful. That Lovely. Delightful touch. Seven. Lovely, moisturised, soft hands. Watch this. Dinky, dinky. Makes that look easy. The amount of times I tried that and the <laughs> ball came off the front wall and hit me in the forehead. Absolute shocking. It's the only time I ever got up there, actually. Because you tripped. <laughs> it was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a complete clumsy coincidence. Oh, how'd he get out of the way? What? He, uh, honestly, out, he got out of the way like a rocket there. He actually yeah. fell out of the way, but he, uh, he was still in the way when he wanted All to right. hit the ball. He did fall. There's nothing wrong with that. No discussion, please, during the review process. Let's have a look at this. He's. Oh, I, I think that's a bit no soft. I think that's a bit soft. PJ, he's gone in. He's, 
What are they going to give here? What's DCI? Uh, no, it's not. DCI is in the main. We've got Torsten from Germany. What's he going to give? What's he going to get? Ooh, it's way over there, is it? It is, but he can't get through. Oh. <laughs> Would you have given a stroke if you were the third referee? Probably not, no. I, I would have actually gone halfway and given a let ball. It's not a no let because he was impeded on the way through. Yes, you failed to clear the ball. You slipped and you failed to clear the ball. Doesn't matter. I wasn't in the shot, Elliot. If you continue arguing, I will use the code of conduct. Eight six. Play through that one. That is oh a joke. Oh my goodness, me. He's so nonchalant. I mean, how does he just adjust the hips and then feather this into the front left hand corner? Oh, that was very slick. He needed to hit that. If he'd have missed it, that would have been painful. Beautiful skill set. Just within one point, starting to hot up here in Doha. It's got to go wider, it's got to get wider. It's like a feeding session from side to side from Rodriguez. This is a brilliant spell from Rodriguez. He's got the dive. Just sorting out the sweat area there. Really enjoyed this match so far, PJ. Oh, it's highly entertaining. Just as you'd expect to very entertaining players to watch. Quite a funny situation Adele, that happened eight, with, with Diego. He ordered some um, fruit from the supermarket for somebody to go and get him the fruit and bring it in, and he brought him 28 bananas. <laughs> Here. 24 pears. <laughs> yeah. So if you want it, 24 bridges. Oh, he's done it again. He's got up. He's up. This is huge, PJ, without sounding like a broken record, which happens most of the time. I'll let you go for it. Look at the situation here when we get the score line. There's a massive, go on. Yeah, but it's still one love for Elias. No, but the potential of a two love lead and a one all score line is absolutely oh. huge. Thank you. Just needed to just push you into that. I didn't need it. I knew where you were going with it.
clever from Elias. This is ridiculous. Retrievals. Well, we can hear the vocality. Everything is being thrown at this from the cannonball. Oh, he's man! Oh, sorry. That is That's absolutely ridiculous. That is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best rally of the tournament oh, so far. Yeah. It's a bit premature on that one. That's how excited I was getting. That was the bit that got me. Terrific squash. Absolutely brilliant. Worth a towel wipe after that one, PJ. Oh, just look at Elias's chest. He's absolutely heaving after that rally. Game ball. A massive game ball for the 34-year-old from Bogota. This is an interesting one. Could he have got that had it not been for the interference? Well, this is why he's reviewing. He believes he could have got it. No comments, thank you. I don't think so. I think that's too good. He's hit that beautifully. Then you are looking at somebody that gets pretty much everything around the court. From this angle, it looks like a let ball, definitely. He can get that because second bounce is back of the service box. So he can reach that. So I think that's a let. No let. This right. is an upheld. Hand out, ten all. From the players overhead. Win by two points. Each player has one review available. Well, the referee is going with the original decision. Hanging tough. Ten all into the tie break. Gives an opportunity for the Peruvian Puma. You can see it's a very high percentage when he goes in short, Elias, but he's keeping it tight. off again <laughs> he's seen an awful lot of pain out there Rodriguez oh, it's a terrific lift this could be trouble Oh, he's only oh, got the lucky bounce. I bout. can't believe it. It just doesn't seem fair. It really doesn't. Game ball. Just let that go past his racket, and there the Finney bounce. Thank you. Thank you. 11 10, game ball. Just game ball. Did you say quickly? I did. It's the first time I touched the towel. Oh, it's a gift. That is a gift. And it's a poor width again from Rodriguez onto that backhand. It was an absolute sitter for the Peruvian. You can see again the shoulders of Elias up and down. It's not surprising. It really has been high octane stuff between these two. Just imagine this in South America and the, the Pan Am Games. Can you? It must, have, must have gone up. The crowd must have gone absolutely wild. Yeah, it would have been. A, I'd love to have experienced that, PJ. Brilliant. That was a gut-ripping boast. A little bit of hold in the swing as well Game ball. from Diego Elias. He just waits there and puts it through. Catching the fleet-footed cannibal slightly behind the short line. So another game ball, second game ball for the Peruvian number one.
will say these referees have been very strict on the players using the towels at the front of the court. I mean, just to compare it to tennis, where they literally get about 25 seconds in between rallies, they're wiping the towels down and all the faffing around. Doing the makeup. And these guys have just had a 60 shot rally and are expected to literally go straight back in. Yeah, I did think that was a little bit harsh. I think there was no need to kind of hurry after such an epic rally in such a crucial time. He's caught the top of the team. And that is a crucial error. A big, big error from the cannonball. Peruvian Puma walks off court with a straight back. He's just asking about the ball to be clean because it's gone very, very dark with the black stencil ink. Quite hard to see. Over to you, PJ. Well, unbelievable game of squash that we're seeing between these two talents from South America. The control of Elias and the speed and the agility of Rodriguez really do pair up quite beautifully. Highly entertaining. All four corners of the court being covered. Rodriguez so near yet so far in that second game. It's a real mountain to climb for the cannibal now and it's the Peruvian with the all-important two-love lead.